going on guys so we are in the camper that is now officially mine i'm gonna have to give you guys a little bit of a backstory about that but we have a title i paid the man this is now my camper so we're pretty excited about that um we're in here right now taking down the blinds trying to give it a little bit more light able to open these windows and air it out some it has been sitting on the hunting club for a long time and smells like mothballs it actually smells better than the last time we were here so we want to make sure we can get a little bit of natural light in here and air it out some so that's what we're doing right now um we are going to do a lot of other things today so we're just getting started we are going to have to make a couple trips to the store there's things that we need you know longer bolts um things to hold our license plate also you know some more lights some of the lights don't work in here so we're going to change some bulbs out but should be a fun day, action packs. We got a lot going on with this camper renovation. So uh, I'll just take you guys along the way. All right guys, so we just got done taking all the blinds off. We just went around and did a power check on all of our lights. Good news, when we first plugged it in the other day, the camper turn signals were opposite of what my truck was doing, which was super odd. We really couldn't understand it. So we looked at the actual outlet that comes from the camper that plugs into the back of my truck. And there was a bunch of like cobwebs and you know, just junk lodged up in there. And as soon as we took all that out, everything worked fine again. So I'm thinking that the circuit was just cut off and it was making the camper do some weird things, but got all the blinds off, we checked the lights. We're going to head to Home Depot here in a little bit, but we want to rinse the camper down first. All right, guys, so we gave old Carolina a bath. She's looking a lot better, that's for sure. And um, now I'm gonna hop on the roof and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna scrub, I'm gonna spray down, and hopefully we can get pretty clean. Um, we have a sealant tape that we're gonna put around like all the air vents and everything that's on top of the roof, all the roof accessories, just to seal that down with some tape, make sure no water seeping in. And eventually we're gonna get a rubberized roofing paint and we're gonna just paint straight over that tape and kind of make it like a double seal, so. So guys, we had the, uh, the vent on top of the camper that goes for the stove. It was pretty, pretty bad shape. Um, the fellow before that sold me the camper actually had one in a box that was spare. And I guess he just hadn't got around to putting it on yet, so. Before we spray a bunch of water up here and clean it out, we want to make sure that this is all good to go and sealed up. So dad's up here right now on the ladder, making sure that we get this on and it looks good. Probably going to have to replace all these up here eventually, but for now, hey, I'll take the free one. All right, guys, this is the before. The before. Here's the after, guys. Looks a lot better already. That's only one coat. White plasti dip. About to go do the other side. We also hit these panels right here, too. And it's that sun-baked yellow did not look good so we just want to go ahead and whiten everything so it all can match i'll show you on the other side what that yellow looks like give you a little bit of a comparison here's the other side looks good 
that's what it used to look like. We'll get that cap replaced, but you can tell the difference. White, ugly yellow. We got gas, baby. We can cook. Just hooked up the propane. Check and see if the stove works, and it does. Stepping into the camper, air is running. It's pretty cold air too. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but uh, I'll give you guys a sneak peek of the inside here soon. But today was a lot of exterior stuff that we did. Um, made a couple trips to Walmart, Home Depot. We got lights, the lights are working. That was the main thing we wanted to get done today was you know throw the license plate on, get the spare tire on, make sure the brake lights work and all that's good to go. So the plan is tomorrow to get this thing back to Gainesville and hopefully we can just do a little bit more work on it little by little. It's uh, down here in South Georgia right now, which is three hours away from home. And uh, it's not doing very good down here by itself. You know, we need a little TLC and we can give that to it a little bit closer to home. So more videos coming soon, but I just wanted to close out today. Very good day today. Um, there's still a lot of projects we got left. We got to do the roof. We got to fix all these lights. Um, Want to give the uh, the old rims a little bit of a paint job too. So uh, there's definitely some more videos that'll be coming soon, but me and JJ got it done today and hopefully this thing will be rolling home tomorrow. So excited, really excited. She's going home guys. She's going home.